Hello, I'm Corey Yingen with Flywater. And I'm Parker Sherman with Flywater. We're here to talk to you today about some of the elements found in the Regional Stream Stewardship and Recovery Handbook. Here we are on Left Hand Creek. This was a recently completed project. We're going to take you through some of the portions of it here and show you what it is and how it all came together. So, take a look now. That's Left Hand Creek down below. And you can see some of the various techniques presented in the handbook. What you're looking at right down in here and throughout the stream are the elements found within from created riffles or constructed riffles to boulder toes to overflow channels to wildlife habitat logs both in stream and out of stream some natural some place we've got various plantings going on from riparian plantings to upland plantings we got placement of various erosion control fabrics on the ground to maintain soil and allow plants to grow. And we're going to show you a little bit more in depth of what these are and again, what you can expect from them. So now we're going to hit on a stream restoration philosophy or flood recovery philosophy that is kind of a base for a lot of these projects or maybe should be for all projects. And that is to when you go to restore a river or change a river or somehow improve your property, you don't want to do harm to those things that are already currently existing and are good. So that's where a discerning eye, some experience and knowledge really helps in understanding what you have to work with and what you can actually manipulate in a beneficial manner. Sometimes you may think that I want a particular thing on my property because I own this land and I'd like this to occur. Rivers don't necessarily always follow property lines in those dynamics. So hence, you may not be able to always get exactly what you want, but it's, in, it's very important to work with designers or to explore options for yourself to uncover everything that could be done in there to get closest to your goals. But overall, you wanna remember do no harm to those things that are already good because Mother Nature often does them best. For more information, please visit the Regional Stream Recovery and Stewardship Handbook YouTube channel or contact your local watershed coalition.